to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. We've got twice as nice Supreme Ventures, a profit machine coming out with that first quarter. We're going to talk about them, but we're going to kick it off talking about the dividend declaration by Supreme Ventures. It's a dividend here, just over 34 cents per share to be paid May 20th, 2022. Now, Kingston Wars Limited, ticker symbol KW, led by CEO Mark Williams, traded in their shares as well. A connected person selling 3.61 million shares, pretty significant volume there in the logistics leader and so forth, April 20th, 2022. In this Pharma Jamaica, the company out west in Montego Bay, leading pharmaceutical business here, right here in Jamaica, dividend declaration, 11.3 cents per share. It's gonna be payable May 26th. Now, T-Tech Limited coming out with some corporate action uh, items here, but they're from 2021 actually, but they're getting it out there. So it's still a good look. Appointment of senior managers advisory that the following senior management appointments have happened at T-Tech. Mrs. Marsha Buckner, manager sales customer experience, effective July 12th of last year. Now, Miss Manish Hutchinson, HR manager, effective April 1st of last year. Last up, we got Supreme Ventures Limited again, $1 billion of profit for the quarter. Some time ago, it would have been a billion or less for the entire year. So now you're talking about, talk about scaling up here. Profits up 68% year over year. We're gonna to get to that by the gaming and entertainment giant. Now, they had two competitors enter the market, Lucky Play and Is Easy. And clearly, sometimes when too many competitors come into the market, maybe, or actually, it has benefited SVL or Supreme Ventures. In hindsight, looking back at that, that's what we're seeing here now with the gaming revenue jumping more than double digit or the total gaming income. That's what we're seeing here, actually. Something that SVL didn't really do in yesteryears. They used to grow maybe 10% or less than 10% on the top line. So you're seeing it on both ends of the spectrum, top line and bottom line. By the numbers, earnings per share EPS, 37.7 cents per share. Earnings up, as we mentioned, 68%. That is a big time growth rate. Profits are passing 1 billion Jamaican dollars. Have a fantastic weekend. It's Happy Friday. This is Business Life, and I'm Mark Crossgreen.